For decades, Windows Command Prompt has been lurking behind the scenes. You've probably seen it, a blinking cursor on a dark screen, waiting for instructions. But what exactly is it? Where did it come from? And why does Windows now give us, not just one, but multiple command line tools? Let's go back to the beginning. Our story starts back in 1981 when Microsoft introduced MS-DOS, short for Microsoft Disk Operating System. This was long before Windows as we know it existed. Back then, your entire computer experience was the command line. There were no icons or start menu and no taskbar, just text commands. By the time Microsoft introduced Windows NT in 1993, the old MS-DOS shell was replaced by something new, CMD, better known as Command Prompt. Created by engineers at Microsoft during the NT project, CMD was built to provide backward compatibility with DOS commands while fitting into Windows' new architecture. CMD was, and still is, a lightweight text-based shell. It became the backbone for IT professionals. For many, it was a portal into the real guts of Windows. And yet, as powerful as CMD seemed, it had limitations. It worked only with text output. It couldn't natively parse structured data. And as Windows systems grew more complex, Microsoft realized they needed something much more powerful. Fast forward to the mid-2000s, the IT world was changing, servers were scaling, automation was becoming critical, and system administrators needed tools that could handle more than just strings of text. In 2003, Microsoft engineer Jeffrey Snover began working on what he originally called Monad. His vision was to create a new shell that didn't just spit out text, but actual objects, structured data that could be manipulated, queried, and passed between commands. In 2006, this vision became reality with the release of Windows PowerShell. Unlike CMD, PowerShell was built on the .NET framework which meant it had access to the entire ecosystem of .NET libraries. Suddenly, admins could not only run system commands, but also query event logs, manage Active Directory, and automate complex server tasks, all from the command line. The big leap was in how commands worked. CMD gave you text, PowerShell gave you objects. The PowerShell way was more modern and undeniably more powerful. By 2016, Microsoft made another big move. They open sourced PowerShell and created PowerShell Core, built on .NET Core. This meant PowerShell wasn't just for Windows anymore. It now ran on Linux and Mac OS 2. What started as a Windows-only tool had become a cross-platform automation powerhouse. By 2019, Microsoft had a bit of a problem. CMD was still hanging around for legacy users. PowerShell was the future. Meanwhile, Linux and macOS users were enjoying modern, feature-rich terminals with tabs, customization, and even GPU acceleration for rendering. The result was Windows Terminal. Announced in 2019 and developed by Microsoft's open source community, Windows Terminal isn't a shell. It doesn't replace CMD or PowerShell. It's a modern terminal emulator that serves as a host. For the first time, you could have multiple command line environments in one place with tabs, themes, split panes, Unicode support, emoji rendering, and fast text rendering thanks to GPU acceleration. By Windows 11, Microsoft made Windows Terminal the default terminal experience, finally pushing CMD into the background and making PowerShell the standard shell for power users. So now we've got three players, but which do you actually use? CMD is still around, and it's fine for simple tasks, running ping tests, copying files, or launching old batch scripts. But it hasn't evolved in decades. PowerShell is the real power tool. If you're an admin, developer, or you want to automate your workflow, this is where you should spend your time. It's endlessly more powerful than CMD. Windows Terminal isn't a replacement, but rather the best environment to use CMD, PowerShell, or even Linux. If you care about customization, productivity, and having all your command line tools in one place, this is exactly what you need.